One of Chinatown's most legendary stores is closing after more than a century, and the owners pretty much wrote the book on what it means to run a family business. Mike McCardle has the last word tonight on Ming Wo's place in Vancouver's history. The street has changed, that's the sad part, but let's go back, way back. The floor is 102 years old, and Fontaine Wong grew up here, upstairs, where it was exciting. In fact, all the kids managed to get their heads stuck between the banister railings. <laughs> Every single child that came here, because they peered through there, their ears would get caught, and they, that's it. But we get to watch all the customers and everything that was happening downstairs oh, over wow. here. For five grandchildren, the store and the sidewalk was their world. It's a great place to grow up as a kid. Yeah? Yeah. The streets were full, and there's a lot of stuff going on in Chinatown. It was a, it's a wonderful place. Her grandfather opened it as a hardware store when hardware was what was needed. Um, this is your grandfather? My grandfather, Mr. Wong Chulip, and mm -hmm. his two wives. In those days, they were allowed to have more than one wife. Hammers and nails slowly gave way to pots and pans and dishes in this family-run store, except for a few, like Margaret, who's almost a sister. They treat us as a family. Everyone is happy to come here. Yeah, okay. every day look forward to come to work. And you've been here 40 years? Yes. What are you going to do now? We need to retire. <laughs> Again, Pender Street has changed. Stores are abandoned. That's why they're leaving. But Fontaine is a believer in good things. Just listen. The days to come when Chinatown, there will be a great revival. Trust me, there will be. Grandpa would be proud of her. Mike McArdle, CTV News.